Microdosing is touted by shroomers and Reddit users. Science is starting to test their claims, and finding some truth. It sharpens all the senses, as if the frequencies of all of your atoms and energy field are raised a little bit and are being slightly more conscious, said Van der Mage Day, 39, who told Stat he first microdosed Silas Cyburn, the active ingredient in it sharpens all the senses, as if the frequencies of all of your atoms and energy field are raised a little bit and are being slightly more conscious, three years ago. Psilocybin microdosers, including hundreds on Reddit, report that the mushrooms can increase creativity, calm anxiety, decrease the need for caffeine, and reduce depression. There is enough evidence that trip doses might have the latter effect that, on Wednesday, London-based Compass Pathways received Food and Drug Administration approval for a Phase 2B clinical trial of psilocybin, in larger than microdoses, for treatment-resistant depression. Psilocybin is illegal almost everywhere, so it's been nearly impossible to study scientifically. That is changing, however, as the Netherlands and other countries effectively decriminalize it and scientists in places where it remains illegal obtain government permission to study it. The scientific interest is driven, in part, by numerous reports over the years that psilocybin might have antidepressant or anti-anxiety effects that might guide the development of better psychiatric drugs. Now, in the first study of its kind, scientists in the Netherlands found that psilocybin microdoses have no noticeable effect on the problem-solving, rational thinking, and abstract reasoning ability called fluid intelligence. But they do seem to improve two forms of thinking that underlie creativity performance was significantly higher on tests of convergent and divergent thinking, said psychologist Bairn Howard Hommel of Leiden University in the Netherlands, who led the study. Convergent thinking is the ability to focus on abstract concepts to identify a single solution to a well-defined problem. The cortex is packed with these 5 HD2A receptors, especially in areas that control reflection, imagination, and introspection but whether there is a minimum dose of psilocybin that's required to activate them is an empirical question that we try to tackle, Hommel said. To do so, he and his colleagues zeroed in on the effects that many users report, creativity, problem-solving, and the cognitive flexibility deemed crucial to both. Leiden's Louise Approachers Cove took the lead in inviting members of the Psychedelic Society of the Netherlands to participate in the study, she got 38 takers. Before their microdose, the volunteers took three standard psychological tests, two related to creative problem-solving and one an assessment of fluid intelligence. About 90 minutes after the microdose, the participants took the three tests again. In the alternate user's task, the microdosers had five minutes to think of ways to use a pen, tracheotomy. The microdosers also took a progressive matrices test, in blocks of 2x2 or 3x3 patterns, with the bottom right one missing. They had to choose which of six possibilities belonged in the blank square, a task that requires fluid intelligence. The scientists found no post-microdose difference on the fluid intelligence test. That suggested an improvement in the convergent thinking element of creativity. That suggests a microdose of psilocybin allowed participants to create more out-of-the-box alternative solutions for a problem, the scientists wrote. Taken together, the three findings suggest a specific effect of psilocybin microdoses on creativity but not on fluid intelligence. More problematic, the study didn't have a control group of people who took something other than psilocybin. That leaves open the possibility that it wasn't the compound that improved some forms of thinking, but the expectation that it would do so. In this one, scientists led by computational neuroscientists Jonah Cabral and Louis David Lord of the University of Oxford used fMRI scans to study the brain activity of nine people who volunteered to be injected with 2 mg trip-inducing, doses. The findings in the microdosing study also fit with many anecdotal reports. Jarkobe van der Vaarden takes one psilocybin microdose every three days, with bi-monthly breaks to work more focused, 
more efficiently and be more creative at his marketing job in the Netherlands, he said. As legal strictures loosen, there will likely be more rigorous studies of microdosing psilocybin. He does not microdose, Burns said, but has called for research into its purported effects, including improving productivity and creativity.